Beneath the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, within sheltered estuaries, a crustacean invasion is transforming the New England coast. They're horribly invasive, and you know, you find them on just about every continent. As warming waters drive Maine's iconic lobsters northward, invasive European green crabs are filling the gap, surging in number and devouring the region's mussels, scallops, and clams. They eat tons and tons of the shellfish. Uh, here in Maine, we have softshell clams, which was, historically speaking, I think Maine's second largest fishery. And the landings there have really, really plummeted as these guys have become more pervasive. To get to their prey, the teeming mass of green dig and snip through a life-sustaining ecosystem. Mike Macy and a handful of entrepreneurial New Englanders say at least part of the solution amounts to poetic justice, eating the invaders. At just a few centimeters across, green crabs are too small to pick for meat. So restaurants such as the Black Trumpet buy the molting ones and serve them up whole as fried soft-shell crabs. You crunch them like, like basically popcorn, and you can season them with, with anything you want. And I, it blew my mind. At the Tamworth Distillery in rural New Hampshire, Will Robinson is pouring crab trapper whiskey at $65 a bottle. Really? The ick factor is there, and that's part of why the story has taken off. Obviously, you hear your crab and spirit, it just makes, makes most people want to kind of throw up in their mouth a little bit. But if I can get them to taste it, it completely changes their mind. At the dawn of the 19th century, there were no green crabs here. They arrived on these shores in the cargo holds of European trading vessels. For 200 years, New England's brutal winters have kept their numbers steady. But now, with global warming, water temperatures have risen and grown more hospitable, and their numbers have grown out of control. Up oh, here's one. See? Now, even fishery specialists struggle to quantify them. There's about as many green crabs that you can imagine as the stars in the, <laughs> in the heavens, really. They're, it's impossible. Just to give you an idea of the numbers we have, you take one female, she can produce 180,000 eggs in one clutch, and sometimes they have two clutches a year. Few believe New England can eat its way out of its green crab problem, but these culinary pioneers are working to turn the tables on the ravenous invaders. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Portsmouth, New Hampshire.